Hello, my name is Carissa Pingle. I'm the educator here at the Sanford Museum. So today I'm going to give you a little tour of our uh, green cabinets here, which are rocks and minerals, which are one of my favorite things to talk about. So um, I'll share with you how this is organized. Sometimes uh, rocks and minerals are kind of in the same family uh, or group where we can show you one type that's similar to uh, another here in a different form, you might say. So uh, chert, uh, chalcedony, those would all be in the same uh, family of rocks. We could show you those are kind of organized by shelf here. So we can show you kind of a whole family uh, of rocks. Iowa State rock, of course, if you're not familiar with that, the geode. Lots of samples here uh, of Iowa State rock geode, some with calcite, some with quartz inside. And this one here, one of my favorite examples, this would be um, called Iceland spar calcite. And you can see what a perfect sample that is. And this particular uh, type of calcite, if you uh, were to look this up in a rock and mineral guide, or if you would bring a piece like this into the museum, we would help you identify this. Um, it has a unique property called double refraction. So if you guys try to look through that nice piece of calcite there, you see how the lettering doubles. So the light is refracting, not reflecting, but refracting or bending. So you get kind of a double image um, with this particular type of calcite. So the rock and mineral guides, um, and be aware too that calcite and lots of other minerals will come in many different colors. So don't get hung up on colors uh, of minerals, but instead in those rock and mineral guides, know to look for some of the other properties that you can find about those minerals. Hardness would be another test you could do, streak test um, to help you identify what those minerals are. So if you pull up the box, the item number is in there, just like I mentioned, um, what it is uh, and where it's from and its dimensions. And this is a, as I mentioned, piece of calcite from Chihuahua. Mexico. Okay, earlier we looked at a few uh, mineral samples, so if we move on to rock samples that we have, we would have those organized here by uh, how the rocks were formed. So one of three types would be, of course, uh, sedimentary rock, which we have a lot of here in Iowa, uh, something like uh, shale, uh, very well known to have fossils in, so we have a lot of shale and limestone around here. Uh, in Iowa. Other types, rock types here, we would have metamorphic rock. So what happens there if we have, go back to the shale here, the sediment through lots of years of, of pressure and squeezing uh, and heat, you turn this sedimentary shale into what we call metamorphic rocks. So third rock type would be igneous rock types. Um, would be another type of rock that you could find around here having to do with um, volcanoes if it came directly from um, a volcano. And by that, of course, we don't have any volcanoes active or extinct here in Iowa, but we do have um, igneous rock around here, and a lot of it probably was brought by way of uh, glaciers. Uh, meteorites. We get lots of inquiries about meteorites. Here's one of our best. Uh, meteorites. We would also, if you have a rock that you think might be a meteorite, we would bring this up, show you what an actual meteorite looks like, point out some of the features, characteristics, properties of a meteorite, and make sure we go through kind of a checklist with, with you on that um, to identify that. So kind of a melted metal look to it most of the time. Uh, usually what we have people bring in ends up not uh, being a meteorite. So, and if we're not sure, we can send that off to um, a university and get it positively identified for you. So my favorite piece uh, out of the geologic collection is this one right here and it happens to be uh, another type of calcite. So this is called boxwork uh, calcite. Um, again one of the many forms that calcite comes in uh, and it was formed in a cave. So if you can think of uh, a live cave or an active cave that would have, would have water uh, constantly dripping, you get uh, this type of cave formation if there is calcite mineral in that water. Thanks for joining us on this uh, Curious Curators episode on geology. Come visit us.